Hi guys, it's Claire. I'm back with a video today that I promised for you a while ago. It's my 30 day colouring challenge sort of roundup video or card share video. Um, so I've got a stack of cards here, let me just pull them into frame, which are basically cards that I made with the image that you saw, the, or the images that you saw me colouring throughout the 30 days of the colouring challenge. Now I know I missed a few of the days because life just got in the way. Um, and some of them I actually made cards on the day so you get to you got to see those in videos anyway but these are the ones where I just coloured the images and didn't share the actual cards with you so I thought I'd do a sort of talk through of how I've put them into cards and what I've made so the first one I'll share is this one here so you saw me colouring this gorgeous girl image it's a 8x8 eight eight card I used papers from a scrapbook collection that were um, a Heidi Swap scrapbook collection um, the sentiment, the die is from My Favourite Things, the sentiment is from Lawn Fawn, the little leaves are cut on my silhouette, so I just cut this as a cut file, um, some flowers here that are dies from Little Bee, and a butterfly die, which I actually can't remember what this is, but just a, a butterfly die which I cut in white cardstock. So just layered it up and made it into an 8x8 eight eight card. The next one is actually the same pattern paper collection, so Heidi Swap Papers. Um, tags from My Favourite Things, Lawn Fawn Sentiment again, some mulberry flowers and some punched leaves. And you saw me doing this girl with the paper piercing. This is one of my favourite ones actually that I've done. This is my rabbit one. I probably actually I just said that's my favourite, but I think maybe this bunny is my favourite. I really, really like this card. Um, this again is from a 12 by 12 paper pack. It's also a Heidi swap one. Um, so yeah, another 8 by 8 card, done the inside as well, just layered up sentiment from Lawn Fawn and Cloud dies from I think they're my favourite things. And this one here, you also saw me colour, another Easter one. These papers are from another 12 by 12 collection. These ones are from Fancy Pants. It's a, um, I think it's called the Flutter collection or Flutter By collection. But yeah, again, decorated the inside. Um, that sentiment is also lawn fawn, but the rest of it is all just straight from the collection. And my last 8x8 one is this one here, you saw me do this, the Mo Manning image. I just layered this on some papers that I've had for a very long time, I actually don't remember what brand they are. They could be Echo Park but I'm not 100% sure. Um, white ribbon to make a big bow, added lots of sort of die cut leaves on there in different couple of different types of green a few little gems just to make it sparkle a bit and a big doily and I also cut some of the cut the clouds excuse me from a piece of the backing paper and pop them up on there so they just add a bit more dimension really love that one this I think was the very first image that you saw me color which is the little mummer elephant bears so I've just mounted them on some navy blue, die cut some stars, this little die cut is a little lawn form one, some yellow glitter paper behind, mounted it all up, stamped the sentiment and made my own card base just using some cardstock. So I've got a rounded corner card base. This one again was one of the very early ones that I coloured. I absolutely love this image and it's meant to be the little boy bunny but I made him into a little girl. Just mounted it on some Simple Stories paper the sentiment is from what is that from oh the my favorite things forever friends um, you know the teddy bear stamp set this is a die that i've got so i cut that and pop that on there and that's it quite simple but really printed oh this is a little tiny flower stamping up flower punch and then just added a gem this fox one you also saw me do um used papers from what is this i think this is a simple stories collection six by six pad Again, this is from the Forever Friends or Friends Forever um, stamp set. Added some die cut leaves. These little circles were actually one of the patterned papers that was in the pack and I've done this all very distressed and ruffled up the edges. And yeah, quite like that. I like the colours of that one. The cat one that you saw me do, I just kept really, really simple. This is a five by seven card. I just layered it on this lawn fawn patterned paper that just happens to have quite nice colours in it that works well with the cats. And that's it, kept it really, really simple, just a basic card, but nice. It's a big image, so it doesn't need a lot else really. And then I've got some other cat cards to share with you that I've made recently. These weren't part of the 30 day challenge, but I've done them all in the last week or so. So I thought I'd share them with you. This is um, a neat, the Neat and Tangled Pussycat, so I've made that into a tag card, just very, very simple. 
but really really love this and I do love this banner really nice this is another cute one that I love um, again neat and tangled image um, yeah just coloured it with Copics but using very very pale sort of pastel-y colours the sort of zero zero zeros in there in the colour family Mama Elephant frame which I cut three times to raise it up so it's got a bit of depth and then on some of my favourite things paper from the 6x6 patterned paper pad the next one is a lawn fawn image this is the little elfie selfie which is a cute little um, stamp set that they've got out at the moment stamped the elephant coloured him with the little camera added some lawn fawn die cut grass my favorite things sunshine dye on this big um i think this is lawn fawn the polaroid frame and again using patterned papers from the my favorite things six by six patent patterned paper pad this one I like actually, this is a bit different. I was playing with the Neat and Tangled, the um, pirate one. Um, I've forgotten the exact name of it, but you know the one and I'll link them down in the description below anyway. And I used patterned papers from a collection, a scrapbook collection that I've had for a very, very long time. Um, and this Ahoy there card was already done. It was like a cut apart card and it just worked perfectly with this. So I just cut out this frame. This is a mummer elephant frame, cut and colored these bits and attached them, mounted it on some striped paper. Really simple, but just really different. I like that one a lot. And this one again using that same mama elephant frame can you tell i like that frame <laughs> then my favorite thing sunshine lawn fawn little girl on her bike lawn fawn grass this is lawn fawn paper for the sky and also the background paper and the sentiment of course is lawn fawn so a really fun bright and sunshiny sort of card and very lastly the last one i've made recently oh actually no i'm lying to you hold up and um, this is another neat and tangled one this is the acorn one i've wanted this set for such a long time so i'm so pleased that we've now got this in the shop to share it with you because this is one of my favorite cutesies that you see around so i just made a simple card six by six patterned paper pack um i think it's by echo park um the sentiment is neat and tangled from two different sentiment stamps this go nuts obviously is in with the squirrel and this one is in their celebrate stamp set so that one and the card that i nearly forgot to show you is actually sophie's birthday card it's my daughter sophie's 16th birthday today so i made this card for her so i haven't given it to her yet it's her birthday we're going out for a meal later on tonight but this is the card that i made for her and this is a mo manning image that i printed out and colored sophie's very much into reading so this is a perfect image for her i printed this on my computer so just printed it out mounted it on pink and then added these sparkly gems all the way around the edge to make it a little bit blingy but yeah really really like that one so um yeah it's a fun one to make so that is it that is my selection of cards that i've made recently um yeah including the 30 day coloring challenge ones and some others in there to share with you as well comment down below and let me know what one you like best or what your favorite one is and also if you like these sort of card share type videos let me know they're, they're fun to do it's nice sharing all my cards with you i do obviously post them all up on instagram anyway but if you don't see them there it's nice to share them in a the video so yeah thanks for watching and i shall see you very soon bye